Today is the official start of New York Fashion Week, or as New Yorkers call it, Thursday. <laughs> For more, please welcome to the show our newest Daily Show correspondent, Dulce Sloan, everybody! <laughs> Come on, Dulce. Hey. Thanks, Trevor. Yes, it's Fashion Week. And while we'll see some new looks, some things will never change. For example, we know at least one model will fail at her only job, walking <laughs> down the runway. <laughs> and that some designer's gonna try to sell us clothes they fished out of a dumpster. <laughs> but the thing, mm, that gets the most attention every year is the cultural appropriation. That never goes out of style. Well, uh, Dulce, for people who don't know, can you explain what cultural appropriation is? Sure. It's when you take something that defines the culture that you're not a part of and profit off of it. The fashion industry does it all the time. They take from black culture, Native Americans, Asia, you name it. I mean, the models even appropriate their body dimensions from the aliens in Close Encounters. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, but Dulce, to be fair, not all instances of cultural appropriation are that extreme. Well, yeah, that's true. Not every person who listens to rap or wears a kimono or sings the chorus to Despacito <laughs> is trying to steal someone else's culture. Well, that's good to hear, because I, I love singing Despacito. Well, you can definitely sing it, because you know you look like a Puerto Rican. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it crosses the line. Like when you get movies about white boys saving jazz <laughs> or Miley Cyrus twerking. Ugh. <laughs> Hell, cultural appropriation is the only thing Taylor and Katie can agree on. <laughs> okay, okay, but, but some people look at some of these examples and they think, why the fuss? Because, Trevor, it's when white people discover something that used to be considered ghetto. For example, look at big butts. I always try to. <laughs> Big butts used to be considered undesirable, but since the Kardashians bought all of theirs, now everybody wants one. Ooh, and don't get me started on dreadlocks. When black people have them, they're discriminated against. They even get fired over it. But when white people have them, clothes fly off the racks. Look at this. Is this a fashion show or is she an avatar? Wait, wait, wait. Go, go back. Was that Kendall Jenner? Baby, it's always Kendall Jenner. Yeah, well, you know what, Dulce, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I hear you, and this is interesting, because for me, it's weird. Where I come from, cultural appropriation isn't really a big deal, right? My, my family's always trying to get my white friends to wear African clothes. They don't view it as white people trying to steal our culture. They think they're embracing it. Mm-hmm. And that's the attitude they got my ancestors over here. These white men are trying to steal us. They're embracing us. Come on. Come get on this boat. <laughs> Okay, no, no, but wait, wait. But it's not, it's not just Africa. When Beyonce did that video where she dressed up like an Indian uh, goddess, right, people here were upset, but in India, a lot of people loved it. Okay, now, Trevor, Beyonce is a bad example because she's a literal goddess. Come on. <laughs> Forget culture. If Beyonce stole my identity, I wouldn't even press charges. I'd be like, thank you. <laughs> Look, Trevor, this is about equality. If minorities were equal, they wouldn't worry about people taking their culture because that wouldn't be all they have. Look, white people, if you're gonna appropriate, take everything. Take the good and the bad. You can take my struggle, too. Get pulled over for no reason, get followed through a store, and the next time there's a Black Lives Matter march, I wanna see you there, Kendall, but don't worry about bringing that Pepsi girl. We drink Sprite. <laughs> Do say slow, everybody. 